Hi guys, it's Jamie here. I thought we would do a quick walkthrough of the Pansy Folio that is available in our shop for only $5 and show you what I did with the folio. In my tutorial for this, which lasts 20 minutes, you see how to very easily add a magnet closure and make this cover. And then I take you through how I put the pages together before putting them in and then finishing touches after I put them in. I've done a flip page immediately on the inside cover with a small pocket attached and a tag that you could journal on. The pocket is part of the kit. I added a small amount of lace to the bottom and that then flips up to reveal more writing space and a beautiful pansy picture. We get onto the main journal. Sometimes the pages are obviously too beautiful to add to and I wanted a journal that had lots of writing space. So I used our paper collection two and the swatch on our paper collection two, which is this, to color match with either things like the little lace highlights or the main color within the paper. Given me a colorful journal that still works well with the original kit. So here you can see that I matched the lace and I added just a small page decoration with one of the words that comes in the kit and one of the fussy cuts. That pocket is part of the kit anyway, as are these tags. All I've done with them is go around the edges with vintage sepia, which is very similar to vintage photo. It's just a different brand of ink. It's versifying and then backed it with some spare papers that I had from our paper collection one but I felt matched quite nicely. I did quite a bit of sewing in this kit, even though I'm not a sewer, adding some lace and things like that from my own stash. I created a big pocket and a big journal card, adding one of the decorations to some spare paper that you could also write on. And that was color matched to the sort of creamy beige colors in some of the tags. And again, I made this double pocket because I added one of the corner pockets as a tuck spot and one of the cards which again has been backed with that paper collection one. Some pages I didn't add anything or I just added a small fussy cut. Nothing really added here except a bit of lace from my own collection. Over the other side using scraps and cutaways from my paper collection one I made a double pocket to go on this page and added some extras, one of the cards. And with this bit of spare, I made a tiny little booklet. I didn't feel that the reverse of the stitching along the edge needed to be covered up. Therefore, on some pages, I have left them completely blank and you can see the stitching. Then you can see the lace on this side. One of the pages from the kit that I've simply cut to fit and as you can see, you've got journaling space, even though it's a decorative page or of the matching from that color swatch. Small pocket, now this was actually as a journal card, I just used it as a pocket. I added a small lace embellishment and made a slightly bigger version of a card that's in the kit by backing it with a bit of spare paper. My central pages, I chose the big colorful page. On this page, I've added one of the long pockets, frame that's free within the group to frame one of the journal cards and added that to some more of the paper collection one. A lace page, more plain pages that you can write on, more of the decorative pages. This is simply paper clipped in, it's a little journal card. So if you take that away and put it into one of the pockets, you have another plain page for writing on. On this side, I covered the paper clip with one of the tags from the kit and then made with some of that spare paper a booklet adding a little fussy cut on the front so that it all matches in. Another one of the beautiful decorated pages. I used the remainder of my blue lace to make a belly band and under that we have another one of the cards. So you can see lots comes with the kit and it's only five dollars so it's a bit of a bargain. From our basic envelope templates I printed up the long envelope on paper collection one and I printed both sides of the paper so that when you open the envelope, you have a pretty internal as well as a pretty external. I used one of the embellishments to make a catch for the envelope. Inside of that, another one of those long tags on paper collection one 
a framed picture of pansies and then completely blank on the reverse. My aim with this kit really was to give as much writing space in a small tall folio as possible while still decorating it and having some elements that you can play with. Here we have another one of the long pockets, a different one again and more of the journal cards. More plain pages for writing and then we're at the end of our tall folio. I hope you enjoyed that short walkthrough and I will catch up with you very very soon. Bye!